everybody, it's Melanie with Lost and Found. I, it is summertime video filming here, which means I've got two of my three kiddos with me, and my mom and sister are also in town, and we have decided to head back down to Prairie Grove, Arkansas, and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour today of the Daisies and Olives Flea Market. If you watched my last video where I went to the Junk Ranch, I told you about this flea market, asked if you guys wanted to see it, and you said yes. So we're gonna go in, take a look, and we're gonna see what we can find, and we'll have fun as we're bringing a whole troop of people in there. So let's get going. Dill pickles. It's just a pretty tooth light fixture right here. <laughs> Not for sale. Like Mom C, you know, like that big one that Mom has? The what? The goat cart. Yeah. <laughs> no, goat. And I like those two little birds right there. Did you see that? They're so cute. They're tiny. Yeah, I think it's the, I think it's the soap. I know, but I can't figure out which one. It's this one. Our dill pickles. <laughs> it's not. Just a little quilt square things with paper, with kind of matted. I think that's an actual quilt, quilt square. Like it's a fabric. It's piece. just a little piece mounted. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and a cute, an old pottery barn frame. It's a little piece of feed Early sack. Early 1900s. It's cute. I, I think that's a cute idea. I thought, I thought that's why I'm this showing you. Mail store. Oh, it is. That's not a bad price for the big can, you know. A lot of times they places are charging a lot. Like what? Yeah, I know, I really like those. This super. is. They've taken a book. And Talk loud. They've, they've, <laughs> they've taken a book and they've painted it. This is napkins. Or you wash. can use, transfers. like I have these transfers. Yeah, I know. Look at this. See? Look how pretty that is. It is pretty. Yeah, there's Very one. Simple. I saw one over there that has hydrangeas on it. I've got, a, I've got tons of napkins. Look. With the uh, the chid wasri, these are you little, should make some. And I should. They've made felted gnomes. <laughs> Those are cute. Too. That's pretty funny. So they kind of sit up. Yes. Yeah, so he sits. Up. I did some lipstick. Hey, hey, Ed, not that, honey. That's. Did you see these? Oh, they made felted uh -huh. cupcakes. Those Christy. are cute. Did you uh -huh. see what I was saying? About I did. These? I do like these painted on wood. These are gorgeous. I like that bluebird up there. Somebody's very talented. Yes, they are. That's pretty too. Original Coke, not even open. Still in the bottle. Say again. We used to get, it's like classic Coke, but like not even, it's not open. It's still on the bottle. It says it's from, oh, it's 1994. How? You think you want to open it, crack it open? No. You have like no. Probably can't. <laughs> display, I like this little tree with the little squirrel in it. It has it's a cute. tiny squirrel. That is cute. Mom, do you know what this color is? No, it's blue. 
sea. Blue sea? Mm -hmm. Well, how do you know it's called blue sea? Because I've seen the different types of colors, and this is called blue sea. Oh, it's pretty. Better. It's just something that somebody made. And I think this is art green. <laughs> art green? Arc green? Oh, arc green. Yeah, this is just something that somebody made. Yeah, look, it's one of your birds. I really want that eagle. I know, I really like the eagle. I think he's neat. I like how they put him kind of down on the bottom of the piece of wood. I really want to try to paint something like that. I don't how much painting still though. Maybe what if I drew something like that? You could draw it and then paint it in. Over here, what I think is an ironstone plate. It is. Pretty. So this is a. Oh yeah, that's an old heavy one. What does it say on the bottom? Uh, Greenwood, China, Trenton. It's really heavy. For eight. Get the little bride and groom right there. That's right cute. here. Mm -hmm. They're four fifty. Okay, so no, this is. I have this. Um, oops. I have a whole the whole little, you know, pergola whatever with these same people in it that I got out of the trash from the neighbors that live across the street from Brad's mom. But I don't. I think it's like a golden wedding. I don't think they're bride and groom. Because look, they got gray, oh, look, hair, they got gray hair and she's yes. wearing gold. Yeah. That would have been grandmom and granddad. Remember when they had theirs? Yes. So I think it's golden wedding. So they're they're four fifty. Got some ice. That's some ice. White it hockey. does kind of look like it. It's though. an ice. This is Davis. Really tiny little well, my ice. I loved that. I love that. That's ice really cute. cute. Ice chain. That's dip very. I think unusual. it's is that technically a I tiara? Like, <laughs> I think so. Still pickle. It still looks like ice. I and like it, you can just, up. you can literally just like feather like, tree up there. I told you, you should have brought your money. And well, I mean, I'm not going to buy this. That's not an old one. This is The like, old ones are like This is more. Get this cute little I mini have, tea set. I love that. 25 for the five piece tea set. That's really cute. We need these. I'm going to love those. Whatever this is. It's a, uh, a cookie monster, cookie cake monster pan baking pan. sheet. What? Or cake pan. Yeah. So we can make a cookie monster out of cake. Coconut string holder. It's twenty-two fifty. The string it's got string in here. You pull it through. Well, there we go. The mouth. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Just what everybody needs. That's true. Daffodils, roses, more roses, daffodils, lemons. That's pretty. The lemons. Let's see that one. Pull the lemons out. Pull the lemons out. That's pretty. Like, can you hand it to me? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty. You should see this one. Pie. Fried pies. Mm hmm. These are beautiful. Okay, here we go. It's gorgeous. Look, she's got little boxes of boxes of cards, too. Oh, this is like my. It's like my if you want to do my cards. Friend, Love Notes by Temple. Temple Skelton Moore. Original painting. 
artbytemple at sea dot com. There's a little thing. Those are really fun. Like this turquoise fiesta. I have some pink, but I don't like this turquoise color. This piece is interesting. It's different than other pieces I've seen before. Eighteen. This is a fun, funky picture. Cute colors on it. Fifteen for that. So this booth, and I don't know who the owner is, but they always have just a lot of really neat stuff and really good prices. Okay, that is cool. This is old. What? Oh, the Longhorn. That is cool. You like the big Longhorn? Yeah. This basket is really old. I used to have an Easter basket, but this wasn't like this. Evan, what'd you no. do? She's only got old. 14. Purchased at a state sale. It's old. Because I'm old. Here's some little shoes. I saw those. I was getting them. Handmade. Those are little harachas. All right, I gotta squeeze by you guys. Don't squeeze. You guys making? I'm making something for you. See, she's got stickers, buttons. Three dollars a scoop. Have y'all ever played button button? Who's got the button? Nope. Thermoses, thermite. Keys. Twenty-five dollars for key. You need to find Ashes. Some, um, an old spring. You put it up against your fence and you can just grow stuff on it. The fine thing. Oh, Lordy, I remember all those. Little Scotty dog. Chalk pieces. <laughs> That's funny. The tiny mouse. Isn't that cute? It's five dollars. That's really cute. It is hilarious. I should even have a bouquet <laughs> and the veil. <laughs> what? I like this cool. Yeah. This Breathe wicker chair. Oh, it feels really nice. Oh, it's a little stool. It's a hundred dollars. That's a neat little piece. There you go. That's what it's, you need. It's a little large. It is a little big. This would be cute though in the planter. Walk up in the back here. Doesn't have too much.
Hold on to it so it doesn't come falling off, okay? This, it says wicker decor, $10. I call that a hat all day long. I am a sensei. <laughs> yeah, let's put it down. This is my friend Dee from Pink Pearl Vintage. I introduced you guys to her at Junk Ranch. Just her name is D. It's a fun little lidded basket right here. Oh, they're like candles. They're candles, yeah. What was that one? The vanilla pound cake. Raspberry rainbow ice. There's another really pretty old tin. 15. Mother dear, that's a very pretty one. And I like this tin too. English tea tin. Look, Christy. I've got already got one of these and I've got the pair of the pink ones. So I'm gonna get this one too. Three dollars. A little bit and what do you do with them? I You're have just a little shelf they're down. sitting on. You just have a collection of them. Mm -hmm. Just started collecting. This is Yeah, that one is pretty. Brass. Lots of brass. Some brass over here. So these are the same Last Supper pictures that I looked at at Junk Ranch. So I, I already purchased one from her, but I know you guys are going to say, Melanie, did you not see all of that Last Supper? <laughs> and I did. I already looked through those at Junk Ranch, but lots of great brass. This is a cool vase right here. This one's cool. An etched vase for 12 Love the cranes. Those are cool. And this is a really nice big candelabra here. All right, so we're down here at the Southern Mercantile, which I really think is one of the coolest antique stores that I've been into in a long time. And I'm excited to share it with you guys.
at these old toys. I'm going to say that Davis, look. The ones that get really big like this. Look, this is somebody's old circus toy set. Don't quote me. You think Luke would like that creepy clown? Yes. Get, get on that baby. Or like, look at the horse. Mom, get on the baby. Yes, Christy. It was, and it was about this big. And it was yellow. I know they have a lot in here. They've got some really pretty pieces, it's some nice pieces. Don't touch it, Okay. Just beautiful, big old ironstone pitcher. Pretty as all that. Just put in together. Oh, these are bouquets. Oh, those are really pretty. This one right here. Twenty twenty-five. Those are pretty. Twenty-five. It's a nice set of weights or scale. Yeah, those doors. Oh my gosh. Those are gorgeous. I didn't look at those. Five ninety-five. Those are so neat. I know they really have some cool stuff here. This one, the Tower of London Bridge Candy Tin. I like that. Nine. Who do you think that man is in that picture? Oh, what are these? Um, they would use them when they were making hats. Maybe they had a hat that they sell. Sort of. Yeah. How much is that? Yeah, they're head forms. The head form? I think it's seventy. Seventy dollars. Melanie, I wonder if that bowl is real. All sorts of ironstone. Gosh, there's a whole bunch. Some of these bowls back here. One thing I don't have is mini bowls. That old this one up here it says antique country and scene and print on board and lovely frame. This one. What is this? It looks like a painting of somebody doing a painting. Artists. 
It's just this artist from the United States. $395. I like those birds right there. The doves. Yeah, I do too. The doves is, I guess the doves. Oh wow, look at this. I'm not really sure. Big T10 display with all that faded paint on it. How cool is that? Very cool. Primitive old guard. This piece is kind of cool. Oh, I like the little house. Handmade dollhouse. I like that. That's cute. Dutch boy paint can with all the brushes. Boy, these are old. If they're not, they're fooling me. Really cute. Mm hmm. These. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Very cute. Oh, look. There's a blue goat cart. <gasps> 525? Holy cow, that's a lot. But no, I've never seen I've that never one seen before. I've never seen one like that either. That's so neat. Never seen that one before. I haven't either, and it's big. Oh man, that's awesome. I might have to. I might have to save up for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was so cool. Antique silver English oh. trophy. Engraved on both sides. I went to an English house party. First prize. Wow. Isn't that cool? I thought that, that was so cool. neat and it's engraved. Oh, cool. Hey guys, that's enough, please. Look at these cute little. Before my time. Look at these little dogs. Look at this little push. Look at these little stuffed dogs. Oh, those are cute. What about that stork? I saw that stork. He's pretty neat. Look how tiny that little dress thing is there. That's to your right behind that mm -hmm. that in front of the bodice. Look how narrow it is. So that's it. I know that isn't a completely thorough tour. It's a lot when I got the kids with me. 
Um, but I did find something that I'm excited to show you guys later. And I hope that it inspires you to maybe come back and look a little bit more. There are more antique stores down here in Prairie Grove. This is just two that I picked today. Um, but we enjoyed spending a little bit of time out and I hope you enjoyed coming with us. Okay, so hey everybody, we're back at my house. This is my mom, Susan, and one of my sisters, my oldest sister, Christy, my middle sister, Kelly, uh, was not able to join us for this trip, but they came in town to visit, and um, I wanted to take them down to Prairie Grove, specifically to Daisies and Olives and Southern Mercantile, which I showed you guys in the video. And we didn't buy a ton today, but we bought a couple things, and I thought, you'll get to see what I buy all the time, that it might be fun to see what some other people are buying and just what other people are collecting and what they're gonna do with it. And so, um, Mom, you wanna start? You wanna tell us about your treasures that you found? Oh yeah, I recently um, saw a few little ba uh, <clears throat> ceramic baby booties. I've got one little shoe at home and I saw these, I thought they were so cute. Do you see them? Hold them up. Are they, like, are they supposed to be like a planter? I think maybe they, those right. might be. I don't know what the other ones are. So they're cute. Here's the other one I bought. I, see see it, it's and, just like the I think it is just like the one I have at home and it's green. And so- Do you also have the right foot at home or do you have the left foot at home? I think it's exactly <laughs> like, like that. It says USA on the bottom. So, yeah. Oh, it does. So I don't think- It has a mark. So I don't think they'll make a pair. Oh, <laughs> unless you have a two, two right foot child. That's right. <laughs> so, so, so what do you do with them? I just have them displayed on a shelf. Oh, okay. and I only have the one. And then I saw these. I thought, oh, maybe I'll add these. And uh, they would be cute with if you had some little faux greenery to pop. Yeah, them I could do that. Them. I could probably get some from somebody I know. Maybe so. <laughs> then this little <laughs> lady. Da, 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 da. It's a little mouse. Can you guys see? Look at her tail. Look at this tiny little. She has a bouquet and she even has on a necklace. The pearl necklace cracks me up. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's supposed to be pearls. She Look at her veil. Her, her veil. veil right here. I just, she was $5. She was $5. And so you're like me, you're kind of a sucker for anything I'm like, in miniature. I like right? tiny things. I like little things like that. I think I got that from my mother, from your grandmother. Yeah. But I really liked She's it. Really I really cute. love her. I, I might have to give her a name. Maybe Alice. Tell them what you, <laughs> <tell> them what <laughs> you spent. <laughs> oh, I spent a total of $17.69. That was with tax. Yes. Yeah, so these think, three items. I think this one was maybe three. Right? And this one was these were eight, eight and this was no, five. The little mouse was five. Now, what are you going to do with the little mouse, with Alice? I don't know where I'll put her, but she'll be displayed somewhere prominently so she can be seen. But we'll it is rare that we go somewhere in, and don't buy something. We'll we always put her find something. Well, that's or the cat will think she's Well, that's true. I wonder if, if the cat will find the mouse. No, she doesn't bother anything, so oh, okay. this will be fun. We had a good time. It was a great place. Yeah. All right, Christy, you want to tell us? We'll scoot yes. over so you can see a little more. Okay, what you got? I got a little hammered aluminum platter with a chrysanthemum yeah, pattern. Oh, that's fine. And I have a few other ones at home. I was going to display some on a wall when I repaint my room. Okay, your kitchen or your living room? I think I'm going to put it in my bedroom. Okay, so just so and you, you like the aluminum more than the silver plate. Like are the other ones you have a, a lemon? Yes. She's got a lot. I, got just, quite I have few. several and and I tried to kind of make them have similar patterns and florals. different yeah, more florals, not the fruit ones. And I just thought they were neat. Yeah. And I even got a little ice bucket and I have a pitcher. Oh, that's cute. Just I like around. the flowers on that one. Do you remember how much that was? This was six dollars. Six. Okay. And then I got this little light pitcher and it says Corning. Let's see. Yeah, so it's just a little, it's not an old piece, we determine. It's just a little Corning wear piece, but it's it cute. can pass for an old piece in a collection of them. Right. right? And yeah. it was just a nice, simple, small size. It would be cute. Or I can even use it in the kitchen if I want. Sure. And yeah. then I think this is an old piece. Yeah. And this was 12, and it has a little crack on this one side. Oh, let's see, right back here. Yeah. Had some neat details. We don't mind that, it just gives it character. Inside. And then, can you read that? Yeah, so I Johnson think this Brothers. Is, it's a Johnson Brothers piece. 
So this is an antique um, English ironstone piece. So and it's been glued. Yeah, y'all know I've got a lot of them with cracks. So but I done. told her, I said, just display it the other way. <laughs> That's right. That's what it's I said. Little crack, a little bit of glue, but really it's not very noticeable. And I thought it would be pretty, it's kind of a simple design, but a little bit of detail on it. And the three together with tacks were just under $26. I really thought you guys had bought more. I thought I did too. You sure you didn't keep it in the car with your stuff? No, I don't think so, because <laughs> I didn't buy anything there. I didn't buy anything there, so. No. I could have bought more. I should have bought more. Always next, the case. Next time I will. Always the case. Here's, that's that's the piece of resistance right All there. All right, so I only bought one thing today, um, and I think you guys probably saw this on the video. I grabbed it from the Southern Mercantile, and I don't know if I'm keeping it. I, I think I'm gonna keep it and maybe try and find a place for it in my, oh gosh, in my living room. So it's, it's <laughs> Whoa. Break, it. break it as I bring it up here. So it is um, a Seth Thomas, it's a clock case. So there's no clock in it anymore. Um, they have instead this cute little wreath. But you can see down in here, it's got the, um, the paper for the Seth Thomas clock. But what I really liked was this whole kind of painted glass right here. Let me step back a little bit so you guys can see it better. I mean, it's pretty, like it's a pretty substantial <laughs> piece. No, oh, you're fine. Okay. It's a pretty substantial piece. It's a good size. So, um, and it's already, it does have hangers on the back if I wanted to hang it up. Yeah. So it's not a functioning clock, like it's purely decorative, but I just it's thought it was really heavy. pretty. It's solid wood. It really is. And these are kind of the colors in my living room. And so I, I'm going to try and find a wall space maybe to hang it up in my living room. And I liked that it just had the little wreath in it. I thought that was really cute. So it was on sale. Um, the vendor had marked it down to $30, which I thought was a fair price. Not a great price for me to resell it, but a great price for me to just have in my space uh, myself. So um, I liked it because it was so different. Yeah. It's got great color. No, and it has a pretty grain to the It's place. nice to have things sometimes that you know you probably not likely that someone else might have. What was that right there for? I don't know. Maybe, a little piece maybe that was how you wound it. Yeah, there could have been a piece that was on top, maybe. Or a pendulum. Yeah. I think it probably this see this look was maybe like there was a maybe it, there was a pendulum and that would be see because if the wire went in there. Yeah. Maybe you wound it. it. Anyway, it's I'm cool. Not sure. uh, so, oh, I just lost my ring. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Southern Mercantile. Did you? I mean, I told you they yeah, had some I pretty loved incredible it. stuff. They had some gorgeous I mean, stuff. I mean, most of it was more than what we could afford, but it was beautiful, like really high end stuff. I was kind of heartbroken about that Last Supper picture that we found <laughs> that I oh, couldn't afford. Oh, it was afford. so pretty. Because it was totally different than any other one I've had, but it was, um, I think, 145. Mm -hmm. So, um, they had gorgeous pieces, but their prices were a little higher. And it was merchandised really nicely in there. Yeah, they had a lot of unusual things. Right. It's a really nice place to go for inspiration and just to get some ideas. Um, and just the vendors there are just really high quality. They find some really high quality stuff. So, they had some nice things. And, and they had, s if you're looking for something different too, I think sometimes you can find it there. Yeah. I saw tons that I could have bought. So that's our little mini haul. Not a lot of pieces, but I thought you guys may want to see what we picked up when we were out. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Daisies and Olives and the Southern Mercantile. Again, those are both in Prairie Grove, Arkansas. If you missed my Junk Ranch video, that was the last one that we posted um, from now three weeks ago, I believe. And that's also in Prairie Grove, Arkansas, although that only happens twice a year. But um, if you're not a Lost and Found subscriber, then please Click that button, subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy this video, give us a little thumbs up. Uh, my mom appreciates it, right? We appreciate when people- I do, like I do. I, like, I try to like every, if I see a video I like, I try to like it. But it does it does help our channel. Um, if you're, that's just a way that you can support uh, YouTube channels that you enjoy watching, that all those little buttons that get pushed, YouTube pays attention to those and it helps more people find our channel. So um that's gonna be it we're gonna say bye i hope you guys enjoyed getting to meet a little bit of my fam some other people so thanks for watching today i'll see you guys bye. next time bye